What up, YouTube world? It's your boy Notlax here, and I'm fucking topless today. As you can see, they got a few tattoos. This one says 1111. This one says 83. 86 August 3rd 86 my birthday date of birth it's just written in some hacker code it kind of resembles you know the numbers we are in society slash uh, who we represent intelligent people can read it right away people that don't understand the language will be like hey what does that mean is this a bunch of numbers and letters I'm like no it's fucking my birthday and my favorite time of day because it's lucky and I always make a wish on 11 on 11. My wish is usually for peace, love, happiness, abundance, prosperity, love and joy. And I keep that as a vibration for you guys. One thing I wanted to talk about was um, my dreads being 43 months years old. <laughs> 43 months old. And it's, uh, it's been an exciting journey, of course. Um, thanks to Naughty Dread TV, I became a member in their channel. So that's big news for this month. If you guys haven't seen their channel, you can check it out over here, as always. They, basically, Naughty Dread TV now has five members, or five or six members, and we're all uh, making our dreadlocks differently. So it's a very good place to go and gain some knowledge. If you want to learn how to back comb your locks, if you want to learn how to interlock your dreads, or if you want to learn how to ne um, neglect method your dread, or you want to just learn how to twist your dread, or learn a couple of hairstyles, everything is there. So be sure to check out that channel. As for this today, I am just here on my 43rd month, just, I'm actually just tightening and maintaining my hair because I gotta go out tonight. And it's been a while since I've done anything to my hair. I've got so much new growth. It is disgusting because I don't really like walking around with new growth on my head. And you can, you can see it here, like all that shit is new growth. Over here, all this here is new growth and it's like mad frizzies coming out. So I'm just trying to take all that in so that I don't have to worry about it for let's say another month. I think it's been about two months since I've done my hair. So usually it's about every week you want to do it. But you know, it's cool. Uh, my hair is really long man. It's going nuts. It's fucking everywhere. And you can tell that some of my hair is brown at the bottom and darker at the top. What happens is that when you had dreads for long enough, you start to get some sun happening to dye your hair. And the sun dyes your hair, it kind of changes it to a lighter color, which is an interesting thing because when you go out to the Caribbean, you always see dreads with like yellow or white or like light brown hair. And that's actually happens naturally. A lot of people think they put mud in their hair or they dye it, but no, it's just the sun doing its work on your hair naturally. Today, I'm here just interlocking my dreads, trying to keep it fresh. I'll probably end up doing a little lineup to get rid of this hairline here, shave it over here a little bit, and to be honest, I'm probably gonna cheat it and just do the front crown because it'll be quicker and no one will notice that the back's not done besides myself. So that's what the objective is going to be today. Which doesn't mean I can't sit here and talk to you guys about my hair over the past few months as I do this. And who knows, maybe you guys will learn a bit or two as I use my camera as a mirror and just continue to take in all these hairs to make sure that I'm looking spiffy for tonight. So what I'm actually doing here is taking all this new growth and the stray hairs around it and just twisting it around the existing dread. Not Keeping, keeping all the hair um, separated from other dreads because you don't want to combine hair from one dread that belongs to another. That's a big no-no in the dreadlock world and you want to avoid that as much as possible if you're trying to maintain a clean and neat look that maybe you will try and go get a career with or maybe you will try and go pick up the woman of your dreams with. I don't want y'all to be out there looking um, unprofessional or you know untidy and miss some opportunities of your lifetime. Basically, I'm here just taking this. Oh, and oh yeah, if you realize that you've connected some hair from another dread, which I think I just did. Yeah, I definitely did. You can always just uh, undo what you just did. You kinda, kinda just pull it back. Oof. You kinda just pull it back out. You realize you made a mistake. And this one is actually gonna go to this dread. Sorry, I'm pretty bad because sometimes I just rip out hair. I know I shouldn't do that, but like if there's hair connected to my dread that should belong to another one, like sometimes I honestly just tear it and disconnect it that way or use scissors. I don't know, it's just a personal decision. I don't really care about if it's 
damaging too much because growing up I used to get my hair braided and every time I took my braids out there was always, always, always hair that shedded during that process. So it's just something I've done my whole life. I actually lose more, less hair dreadlocking than I did with the cornrows, so that's something to take note on. I'm actually curious if any of you guys have done interlocking since you've come to my channel. I'd like to know how your process has been. Uh, what's been your favorite part? And also, what's been your, list, your least favorite part about having interlocks? And this video might actually just be 12 minutes until my camera dies. And that will be my not lock update for this month. Um, it's good. I've actually been in contact with a lot more dreads this month. Um, through gaining popularity on this channel, people are emailing me a lot more, uh, which is good. And I really suggest that you guys do email me at notlocks at gmail.com. Send me any pictures you have of your dreads. Um, any work that you've done in like making crocheted tam hats, I love that stuff. If you guys make anything like custom t-shirt sleeves, if you guys have any tips of yourself, of your own, just you know, send them to me and I can either put them on my channel, I can feature you on the channel. Uh, I'm putting together a photo montage, so this is your chance now to actually send me all the pictures you can of your locks and I will put them into a montage onto the channel. And also, if you are located in Canada or coming here to visit or whatever you are happy, by any chance and you happen to be in Toronto, um, give me a shout and just email me once again, notlocks at gmail.com. If you have dreads or if you're interested in getting dreads or whatever you want, we can do a meetup. Preferably I could do a short little profile, video profile on you guys to kind of keep the channel moving because I always love putting on different profiles of dreadheads because I like to see how all different types of cultures and people do their locks. It's always a very interesting topic for me. Here in Toronto, like I work on Queen Street and there's always different types of people walking by with dreads. A lot of messy ones, a lot of nice ones. So it's really interesting to kind of see where people are at with their hairstyles. I don't know if it's just me, but you guys notice that dreadlocks are actually a lot more trending now than they have been ever. Maybe it's because of like Lil Wayne and 2 Chains and Waka Flocka Flame making this shit cray. But I think I'll keep my dreads forever. Can't picture myself any other way than without dreads, than with dreads. Ooh, this one is thinning. I don't like them when they thin out like this. Since this guy here is thinning, I'm just gonna keep on going. No change, no stop. Yeah, look at that guy. He's getting thin. It's not good. Not good at all. I think I'm gonna put my finger through it. So I'm just gonna lodge this one back together and try and make him a bit stronger. Would I ever cut my dreads? I think so, but only to start them again. I would start them in a different way, or thicker, or maybe even thinner. So we're coming to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, it's 43 months I've had these locks. Please send me any pictures and videos that you guys have of yourselves. They're always greatly appreciated. You know, and as always, keep on subscribing. I got new videos coming out every week. That shit's cray. Be sure to check out Naughty Joy TV. I'm now a new member to that channel. And uh, we're we'll keeping it G'd up around here. Until next time, you know who it is. Not locks. Living large. 42 months. With these shits. Look how hot that is, huh? 43 months, sorry. Hope you guys have a good night, good weekend. It's Labor Day weekend here in Ontario this weekend, but by the time this video comes out, it probably will not be Labor Day anymore. Whatever day it is, wherever you are in the world, I hope it's a dreadful one. A naughty dreadful one. I'll see you guys in the future. Once again, not locks. Keep on nodding, because I ain't gonna stop. Till next time, peace! Well, you are now. Some boy kill and I want no laziness in the dance, you know. So all of the top nuts, let's get up and rock. And all the daughter and all the man, let's get up and shock out. See, cause some boy kill a day, ah!